If you enjoy the topics and videos you see here on Power of Thought, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It would really help to support us. Expecting is the greatest impediment to living. In anticipation of tomorrow, it loses today. There is a misconception that Stoicism is synonymous with not caring about the world. That to be a Stoic means to give up on being invested in the things that you care about in that world. Giving up your power to affect the outcome so that you're not devastated when it doesn't work out. This is not what it means to be a Stoic. Stoicism is about returning the power to you. About reclaiming your ability to act, not react, to situations. Employing some level of Stoic outlook in our lives does not make us cut off from life. It gives us the confidence to choose what we care about in that life, a power that few of us ever truly realize. Here are five Stoic lessons to start incorporating into your life right now. If you are tempted to look inside yourself for approval, you have compromised your integrity. If you need a witness, be your own. This quote by Greek philosopher Epictetus illustrates the disservice we do to ourselves when we are always looking outside for approval. If you never trust yourself, aren't you always reacting to life and never shaping it how you want it? If we are to be more confident, we must first be able to value our own opinions and decisions. Epictetus was born as a slave in the Roman Empire. Despite this, he became renowned for his Stoic teachings and now lives on through his recorded works. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Stoicism is not just a philosophy for slaves and those suffering in harsh times. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius is one of the most famous Stoics in history. In this quote, he shows us the value of having confidence in yourself to navigate the future, and not to be reliant on some plan or safety net to get you through. I mean, if we really think about it, unexpected events are a guarantee in life. So wouldn't it be better to build up our ability to weather those events instead of trying to convince ourselves they will never happen? When we tell ourselves life will be great after we land that job or we cross some milestone, we set ourselves up to be devastated and left powerless when life throws a curveball at us. With the confidence of Marcus Aurelius, we can rest easy knowing we can take whatever is thrown at us. A gem cannot be polished without friction nor a man perfected without trials. Own your failures. We aren't meant to succeed at everything. In fact, we are meant to fail at most things. Because when you really think about it, we are trying to find that handful of things we enjoy and really want to work on in life. If you succeed at every relationship, every job, and every attempt at everything new, you would stop experiencing new things. Your life would always stay the same because you would never fail. Failure rounds our edges. It sharpens and sculpts us into that unique person we are. You should live in such a way that there is nothing which you could not as easily tell your enemy as keep to yourself. We can interpret this quote in two ways. The most obvious takeaway is that we should live our lives openly and honestly. This doesn't have to be an unnecessary amount of information about your life being given out, but that when that moment calls for it, not to shy away from telling the truth. Not to hide what you've done, what you do now, and what you want to do with your future, because you are too afraid of how people will react. Tell people who you are, and don't be afraid to shout your dreams from a mountaintop. If you don't show people who you are, they won't truly know you. Secondly, this outward honesty is linked to inward honesty. When we aren't honest about what we have done in the past, the consequences of our actions, or about what we really want in life, a better life will never come. You must know yourself in order to improve yourself. You are scared of dying, and tell me, is the kind of life you lead really any different from being dead? A blunt quote from Seneca to be sure, but he kind of has a point. If we freeze up in those moments where action is required of us, where adventure and opportunity presents itself in those rare moments, what is it that we are living for? A human life is a short note in a cosmic song. So make it the most memorable and unique note that you can. 
Regardless of all these stoic quotes full of wisdom, resilience, and willpower, there is no way you can grow, improve your personal development, or your life as a whole if you don't practice. Try to live each and every day with a bit more of a stoic attitude and you may be surprised how much confidence in yourself you start to feel.